I'm really pleased to see that it is just Harry Potter themed items. I hope it stays that way. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Accio unboxing, kind of. I do have a little bit of announcement about it, but first let's go over the details. It is a quarterly subscription, $64.99 a quarter. You do have to pay shipping. Shipping in the US is about $13.50 and then of course international shipping will depend on where you live. You're supposed to get seven unique high quality items and the value of the box is supposed to be $130 or more. They also offer a skip a shipment feature. Now, Accio has gone through some changes. In fact, it's not even called Accio anymore. They have rebranded and changed their name to Magic Delivered, which you can still see is on their boxes. This is, I think, one of their old designs of their box. They're gonna be changing up the look as well, at least compared to the pictures online and their website is now magicdeliver.co instead of Accio Box. So they've gone through some major changes. I'm gonna go ahead and read you the email that I received talking about these changes. I did get it a little while back, but I believe I had already unboxed the last Accio Box, and so this is the first time that I'm unboxing one of their boxes with the change in effect. I actually got this email way back in October it says, we think it's time for something really magical. Our team is very excited to announce that we are changing from Accio Box to Magic Delivered. Since transitioning into a quarterly box, we decided that we want to continue to step up the magic and take our creativity to the next level. That means new look, new ideas, new collections, and more magic. While we are still the same small business you love and trust, we truly believe that Magic Delivered encompasses the direction we are heading. Magic Delivered has always been part of us. You've seen it on every box we've shipped. So it is time we expand the magic we deliver. Now we may need your help as a valued member of our magical community. We want to continue to excite and surprise you. Let us know what you want to see and be in the chance to win a free box. Let us know what you want to see. Of course, they did have a survey, which I don't know if I ever took it, and I probably should have. I don't know if I scrolled down that far. That's the change. I actually don't know that I'm excited about this change at all. I got this box because it was a Harry Potter box. I don't wanna see any other type of magical fandoms from any other type of magical fandoms. That's not why I got this box. I see other types of magical fandoms in the book boxes that I get. I got this one specifically for Harry Potter. So that announcement had me feeling a little uncertain on whether or not I was gonna be keeping this box. Now this one, I don't know what the theme of this one is gonna be. It is still in their old box. It could still be a Harry Potter box. We'll find out together. It's always very risky to do a rebrand after you're a well-established subscription or well-established company. And not only did they go to quarterly, they've now changed their name and they've changed their website name. So we'll have to see how the transition goes for them. You can let me know your thoughts. Maybe you are excited to see other magical items in here, and maybe I'm just thinking that that's the direction they're going, but maybe they're still gonna be Harry Potter. I don't know. This subscription's been around for a while, um, and maybe they have run out of Harry Potter ideas, and so they didn't wanna be put in one specific box, and so they wanted to expand, which as a creator, I can appreciate that, but at the same time, for me personally, I want to see Harry Potter things only. Okay, this theme is Welcome Home. It says Holidays at the Burrow. So that one is still Harry Potter related because the Burrow is where Ron Weasley and all them live. It's funny, I was just recently talking about how the Burrow is often featured in these Harry Potter boxes and we hardly ever see anything from the Lovegood family. And then I received that Lovegood pin in the Wizarding World box. I am happy to see that we are heading to the borough for the holidays. This should all still be Harry Potter related. That does make me happy. I will see how the next box goes. We'll take it one box at a time because maybe the change won't have anything to do with them letting go of the Harry Potter fandom, but we'll have to see. I don't know, you guys watch a bunch of unboxers besides just me, so if you've seen someone else unbox this or talk about the direction that Accio slash Magic Delivered is going, 
please let me know and that'll help give me more information to make the kind of choice that I want regarding this box. Okay, right on top is a recipe and I believe this box is a vegan box so it should be a vegan recipe. It is from the Kitchen of Molly. The recipe is Arthur's favorite gingerbread and of course we're gonna have to have butter, brown sugar, molasses, egg, oh, Maybe it's not vegan. Maybe that's something that they changed because vegans don't use egg. I will have to give this recipe a try. I don't make a lot of homemade gingerbread. I think I've only attempted it once. So this could be one that we do in a future video. Of course it is like more holiday flavored themes so it might have to wait till later this year, but we'll see. Yep, Molly's graciously sharing her recipe for Arthur's favorite gingerbread. Is anyone else immediately hungry? Be sure to share your results or your favorite holiday recipes with us. Next we have a pot holder. It's super cute, I love it. You can see the sweaters that Molly makes for her kids, one for Ron, Harry. Love seeing all the food on here, it looks so good. Next is a pair of socks on. Oh, it says homemade with love for Mrs. Weasley. How cute, look at that packaging. Happy Christmas, dears, stay out of trouble. It does look like a hand knitted pair of socks. It does have a G on it and an F on the other side. <laughs> that would represent, you know, her twins that she had. Homemade sweaters are so cool, but the holidays are so busy and they take ages to make. This year, everyone's getting socks. We thought the twins mismatch set would be the most fun to share. And that is very fun. Okay, the next thing that I see is, oh, I think it's an ornament. Of course, I got this box during the 25 boxes of Christmas, and so I couldn't open it right away. So I will have to save this one till later. But it says this ornament is designed by Mad Unicorn Studios. It's perfect for hanging on your tree or displaying on a shelf. With a snowy home scene inside the lantern, this can bring a bit of magic all winter long. Check out other magical goodies from the Mad Unicorn Studios. It's really cool how they put it in a lantern. Oh, and you can even see wizards flying on their broomsticks on top, like flying around the house. I do like that ornament, it's really nice. I think it'll go well on the tree and it's not too heavy because I've received some heavy ornaments in the past. It's like weighing down my tree. Okay, next we have this little box that says magic delivered on the top. Perfect for all of your magic mail. Add an enchantment touch to even the dullest of parcels. Oh, it's like a stamp set. That's cool. It says two from, one of them says air mail. This is cool. One has an owl because <laughs> I love this airmail North Pole office. This is cute. It's something that I could possibly get use out of whenever I'm shipping you guys cards and giveaway boxes. This is really awesome. This holiday stamp set, add a bit of magic to your letters and packages this holiday. With these magical post themed stamps, if you can't send your parcels via Al, add some flair to your non-magical posts and I definitely will be doing that. I am really pleased with this box so far. I am really pleased to see that it is just Harry Potter themed items. I hope it stays that way. Please let it stay that way because that is why I'm paying for this box. All right, next item. Oh, it's a stocking. It's a big stocking, how cool. Is that the Phoenix up there? You've got Christmas trees, the car from the Weasleys, snowflakes, owls. You have the chocolate frogs. That is so cool. And it does feel hand knit as well. It's nice and long. This has got to be like the longest stocking I've ever seen. Like ever. This is a huge stocking. Love it. And I cannot wait to use it next year and display it on my wall. That is awesome. Hang up your very own stocking with the rest of the family this year. It was designed with each person's interest in mind and it's perfect for being displayed or actually used. And I do think it will work out as a great stocking next year. Okay, next item is a very fun puzzle. I am so excited about this because I love doing puzzles. And this one is actually represents a design of something that I love, which is Harry Potter. And this is the 500 piece puzzle illustrated by Dash of Nutmeg. This puzzle features a gorgeous winter scene and some of our favorite characters. Put it together over and over again or frame and display it as art. Find more magical art at nutmeg.shop. <laughs> this is so cool. You can see two of the boys out there having a snowball fight. You can see the car. 
Wow, there's so much detail in here. I love this scene. It is so detailed and so perfect. This is definitely one I'm gonna enjoy putting together and I'll probably be one of the ones that frames it after it's all done. Love this. Next item, something orange. Okay, I, I'm not sure what this is. I do see a snitch on there. Came in a nice little case right here. Oh, I think it's a pillowcase. Yes. It's the Chudley League Champs of 1892. That is like super detailed right there, super fandom. I mean, you definitely can see the snitch. I don't know the names of the rest of the balls that was for Quidditch. I'm sorry, I'm like drawing a blank, but there's that really heavy one and then the, uh, the, the other one. But I do recognize the snitch at least. This pillowcase is a full-size microfiber pillowcase Fits right in with the certain redhead's bedroom decor, but it's perfect for any witch or wizard who favors the specific team or wants to add a bit of color to your room. And the last thing that I think is in here is the apron that goes along with the pot holder. Wow, this is a huge apron, and it's got some of the same designs as the pot holder over here. I'll just post a picture of what it looks like because it's so big for me to display on camera right now. I do love that it has the red pockets in the front. Great for holding things. I do think that's a necessity for an apron. This has so many fun different desserts. I wanna eat these desserts. I wish that I could eat all of these desserts. They just look so yummy. One of my favorite aprons that I have received. If you're into cooking, grab an apron and join Molly in the kitchen. Featuring lots of fun, magical images designed by Karen Leopold. This apron and the matching pot holder feel festive and help you fit right. And if I ever do make this gingerbread recipe for you guys in a Sunday fun day video, I will wear the apron to make it even more fun. That was all the items in my box. Honestly, I was really happy with this box. I was really happy with the theme. I was really happy that it was still Harry Potter related. I do think that this is still a box that was in transition of them changing their names. This box was probably already pre-ordered before they announced their name change. The next box is the one that I'm really curious about opening and seeing to see how much of a change will happen with the Magic Delivered family. Hopefully anyone who filled out that survey felt the same way I did and did not want them to venture far into other magical fandoms. But honestly, I don't know. They're gonna go with what's best for them and I totally get it. All I know is that I am really happy with this month's box. As a recap, we got the stocking, the pair of knitted socks, the apron and pot holder set, the pillowcase with the Quidditch team on there, this ornament that's got the Weasley's house in a lantern, this stamp set, postal stamp set, the recipe card for gingerbread, and a 500 piece puzzle. I really think the value of the box was here, so I am happy about that. You let me know your thoughts of this quarter's box, as well as thoughts of the change from Accio to Magic Delivered down in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye everyone.